Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make a tall, deep scrunch. Using the over-the-sink strainer and a shirt that is not turned inside out, no rhyme or reason, it just wasn't turned inside out, I'm going to do a tall, deep scrunch, TDS. So I'm going to create tall peaks and low valleys. And try not to overwork the shirt like I have a tendency to do. You just want to plop it in there, grab a few sections, pull them up, and set it and forget it. I think the more you overwork it, then you start to get tight scrunches in some areas, and it doesn't necessarily look quite as good. So these over the sink strainers come in a two pack and I get them from Amazon and you will find the link for them down below in the description box. I love using these as often as possible because you can do two projects in one tote and it's a real space saver. So the one you were looking at that was covered up, that was Stormageddon and it's so dark but it turns out so beautiful. If you guys haven't watched that tutorial yet, go check it out. But do make sure that you cover it so that you don't cross contaminate when you're adding the dye. So for this one, it was going to my sister and her favorite colors are purple and green and specifically purple and green combined. And as you know, we're all terrified of making brown when we use purple and green. And I'm here to tell you, don't be. Eggplant technically is a purple. No, it's a little bit deeper than that, but it's a nice dark rich color. And the forest green is also a nice dark rich color. So they work together. I want to give a big shout out to Laison Futura, and I hope I'm saying that correctly. Thank you for joining the YouTube channel membership. All of the proceeds from the memberships will go back into the channel so I can continue to bring free content. So next, give the project a quick little sprinkle of soda ash for good measure, and then I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of my nugget ice on top just to help the colors get moving. Then I'm going to cover it because I'm doing the two projects, and then I'm going to set it aside and let it batch at 70 degrees or higher for at least 24 hours. I let the project batch for the full 48 hours, and now it's time for the rinse out. You want to start by using cold water. That's going to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fabric and then increase your water up too hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. From here, I take it to the washing machine and I like to do hot water cycles using Kirilon. Kirilon is a professional textile detergent. And then I like to do a final hot water cycle using Milsoft and Milsoft is a professional fabric softener. Then I'll put it in the dryer and then I'll iron it and we'll come back and we'll see the results. What you see me doing right now is I'm turning the shirt inside out. I personally prefer to wash all of my things inside out. This is something that I learned as a, like a teenager when my grandmother was teaching me how to do laundry. She says, turn everything inside out. I think it had a lot to do with sweatshirts in the eighties always had like screen printing stuff on them. So it was a way to keep it from cracking. I don't know. Well, here it is, guys. Here's our tall, deep scrunch ice dye after it's been washed and dried, and I think the shirt turned out really pretty, and my sister did not hesitate to snatch this one up. Everything that I made for her was a little too this or too that, but she enjoyed this one quite a bit, and I can see why. The close-ups really show how beautiful this color combination is. And look, you guys, there's no brown. So we can do purple and green together. Let's try not to be so frightened, okay? So I want to talk to you about Scotty Thompson, and many of you have probably seen the GoFundMe that I have started. I've never done one before, and I'm really impressed at the outcome so far. It's been a day, and you guys are really rising to the occasion, and I appreciate that. I'm going to put the link for the GoFundMe down below in the description box, and if everybody who watches this could just give even a couple of dollars, we're definitely going to reach the goal to help him. Um, and you can read on the GoFundMe all of the information as to why I am raising money, why our community is raising money for Scotty. So if you're not able to give money, I completely understand that. Just put some energy into the universe to wish for him to be well and uh, get to where he's able to join us again. So I love this shirt. 
What do you guys think of the shirt? Please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up, and click the bell and set it to all. That way you get notified of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing. Now click the link to go over to GoFundMe and please give what you can.